The following is a touch light repair job and don't do it unless you are qualified and know what you're doing. Um, this is a list of the colour codes for AC 230 volts New Zealand and you can see they changed the black and red and green which is usually used for DC currents uh, into a new color scheme of blue and brown and green and yellow striped for earth cable uh, so if you're unsure if you're not uh, sure what you're doing take it into a proper repair place uh, but these uh, boxes you can buy off shelf from Aliexpress and if you've got the same colour code wiring then it should be easy peasy but often they're not the same colour codes and you have to know what you're doing. Uh, so that's my disclaimer. Uh, if you kill yourself. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, best to use also one of those RCD residual current cutout boxes uh, so if you accidentally get a shock it will cut out the circuit to the house anyway and uh, they cost about $18 New Zealand uh, for 230 volts probably variable volts actually uh, a lot of them so you can do 110 upwards but anyway uh, on with the repair Okay, I think it's recording. Got my new camera holder so I don't actually touch the screen. So, um, this is my touch lamp that I got for my 21st birthday. And it's been repaired a few times. It's all metal. Uh, metal. And it's got a bayonet instead of the Edison screw in uh, thread. But you can still get bayonet. So uh, that's a bayonet LED one in it. So normally these boxes from China uh, are for the electricity to a switch through a static touch pad. And you can see they've got some writing on them of which cables are which on there. All right. So we're going to try and repair it. So let's see if the color screen is right. So black is the touch cord with the ring on it. Um, the switch is the red one. Blue is normally neutral for the power outlet. And the brown is for phase, so that's the uh, neutrals return line for the power coming down the brown line. And normally you have uh, earth as well on a plug, uh, which goes to middle parts. So if there's a short, it goes to ground and, and triggers the uh, uh, residual current device or fuse box in the house. So it should be easy enough to fix, but the lamp has probably got some different color coding. So let's open it up and have a look again. Uh, I know I've put lots of extra spongy feet on the button, so it's more stable. It used to have four in the corners. And I took out those, uh, those screw-in feet. That's it. Well, they were. And the one in the middle there used to control the circuit board, which is not there now. And the screw on the very end, I uh, just have to take out and it will open up. So, let's do that and I'll just pause it while I do it. So, I've taken out that back screw as you can see. And the lid just flops over, flop, flops over to make it like a car hood. Car bonnet. And... Uh, Shouldn't make it easy to repair, but straight away we can see uh, this is a five cord, not a four cord, and it split the two um, it's got two black wires, which I believe would be uh, neutral in this one, 
you see the color coding is different. The red one goes to the lamp. Yeah, it goes up to the lamp. No, let's see. The blue goes to the lamp. Blue and black goes to the lamp. And uh, got green going to this case uh, there. And we've got red and black coming in on this cord. So that's old color codes. <laughs> instead of being blue and neutral so black would be uh, neutral and red would be phase brown and the yellow one's going off to the um, you can see there it's got some sort of coat in there going up to the static pad so let's see what we can do with it Yeah, okay, I think it's recording. Okay, I got it all together. You can see that I joined, I used the black wire from the other one, stripped it and joined it with the blue wire, stuck it into the input where it's got the black wire coming for the wall, which should be neutral. Should be a blue wire, but it's old wiring, obviously. And the red one is phase, which is the brown wire and the black wire was going to the sensor and the red wire is going to the lamp um, and so the touch thing is the switch in between it should be working now should be able to touch it and bingo touch the front of it and it's all live and it should turn off on off so it's all good that's simple and the part costs like uh, three dollars 90 New Zealand with postage from AliExpress and it's just an on-off switch you can get one that can dim three levels by touching the pad multiple times and it goes around in a circle but I couldn't find any uh, that would be suitable for what my lamp is 230 volts uh, New Zealand voltage 50 hertz so yeah it's all working now and I'll just screw it back together make it safe and leave you with that uh, anyone else that wants to know uh, so yeah got the box red one going off to the light side black wire going to blue which is neutral and brown going into the box and the black one going off to the touch lamp which originally was orange as you can see and I put those chocolate blocks on to make it easy to repair every time originally it wasn't like that so it's all good lucky I could do these repairs myself huh? no dummy okay the light is assembled screw back together and we touch the pad Oop. not touch it too too much it'll stay lit so there you go very sensitive